Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Snow Plowing Simulator, the prologue. Before we jump into it, let's just read the quick description on Steam. Nobody likes when they get up in the morning and have to clear the snow in the entire neighborhood. What if we tell you that clearing snow can be relaxing? Just real snow chill. P.S. Persistent ones will learn about the fascinating history of a sleepy town lost somewhere in the high mountains. Now, the th crazy thing about this is I live in Michigan, so I could just probably walk outside and shovel snow. Well, actually, the snow is actually kind of starting to melt and we're getting like mild temperatures in the 40s, which is very nice. But let's jump into this. We're going to leave everything at realistic and yeah, we'll just leave all this check marked, I guess. And just uh, jump right. Whoa, whoa. No loading. You just jump straight into it. Cool. On the map, you can view tasks and get to know the area. Okay, but it is not used for a teleportion. Got it. So here is our map. Do we have lights? Okay, so I apologize about that cut. I was actually trying to figure out how to turn on the light, but the light was actually up over here. And then if you go over here to your computer, you can actually buy your shovel, which I just did and the shovel just arrived. Over here, you got your plows and stuff that you can hook up to your truck, but they are very expensive. You can buy different clothing for your wardrobe because you got to make sure to stay warm, especially when you're out there shoveling that snow. Over here, you got different powers because you got to keep an eye on your calorie count for that lovely energy. And then over here, we got objects like cough syrup, hand cream to protect against frostbite, uh, more hand cream that's like more strong, I guess, from the looks of it, beaver pills, tea, and just different things that you're going to have to work on getting just to help out in the elements, so to say. In the top left hand corner, I changed it to Imperial because I am an American, and, but you can leave it at Celsius if you want. So I believe that 97 degrees is our body temperature along with the calorie count right above that. But our shovel arrived. Oh, hello. I can shovel with it. Cool. Ooh, I pressed one and that brought out the shovel. Whoa, just got a little bit laggy there. Okay. Uh, over here is your map as well with your uh, objective. So we have to clear out the front of the hub garage. And then we truck our truck can actually ride all over the map. It's kind of cool the physics. I like the physics of walking in the snow so far. As you can see, we're leaving like a trail wherever we walk. So we're gonna want to get that that shovel again, and let's see how this uh, handles. Ooh. And then if you press Q, you can actually see what area you still need to shovel out. Now we need to shovel off so customers can get to our door and place their orders. So we're just going to go on and shovel this area out, I guess. Ooh, I already cannot wait to have an electric uh, snow blower. But so far it's running uh, pretty smoothly. We're sitting at a steady 60 FPS right now. And for the FPS, I did have it capped at 120, but it wasn't hitting it. So I just went ahead and capped it at 60. It's dropping here and there on, I believe I have it on epic settings. Like I said, when I play simulators, I like to show everything I can for you guys. So here are my settings as of right now. And it's kind of running fairly smoothly. So that is good. And then for this shoveling, you don't have to press the WASDs at all. You just hold the click and you're actually walking in a straight line automatically, which is nice. And then you can just look up. And as you can see in the top left hand corner, your calories are actually dropping as you use up more energy. So you have to buy like cupcakes, food, energy drinks to keep that up. Oh, wait a minute. I found something in the snow. What is that? $500. Hell yeah. Can I, can I grab it? Someone lost money. Sounds good. One other thing while I'm doing these little cuts here and there on the top right hand corner, you can see I am almost done. That shows your percentage when you're working any type of job. So at 93%, it kind of reminds me of lawnmower simulator a little bit in that aspect. And I guess pretty much any uh, simulator of like this where you're working a job and tells you the percentage you have left but we're about to be done 98 percent okay there we go we hit 100 percent now in order to finish a job you just want to head over to the mailbox and it says do you want to hand over the job uh i think that's what i have to do there we go level complete now customers can easily come to your office there is still snow removal of driveways under the garage gates just buy more efficient tools gotcha five star not bad not bad 
as you can see my temperature is actually down to 96.8 so you got to watch that as you're out in the elements because you can gather sickness and then you'll need to buy medical supplies when you buy medical supplies you actually have a little med place right over here for the medicine cabinet we don't got nothing though because we still need to buy some medical supplies but might as well go inside get warm and look for the next job which we do not have one yet right over here you got your weather station which tells you what the temperature is going to be at certain times obviously it's going to be dropping at night anyone who lives in like the midwest and canada or up north is going to definitely know that uh over here for your map you can actually switch it to a different uh view for it to shoot see the snow and everything looking pretty cool but i like the regular map a lot better and one thing that is popped up now is a small scrapers i'm going to buy that for 160. go ahead somehow i earned money i thought i said i wasn't going to earn money on that but you know what? that's fine uh should we buy some buy some goodies power-ups let's buy some ramen yeah let's buy one ramen earn some uh food after that hard work and just to buy it, I'm just going to buy some cough syrup and some hand cream uh, and some coffee and this thermos. There you go. It'd be cool if they added a, I don't know if the, it might already be in the game. Who knows? Or in the, only the prologue, but like salt to throw down. So for like ice and stuff like that, that would be pretty cool. And over here in our medicine cabinet, we have our medicine and then the courier just brought us our stuff our coffee is right here so we can make coffee i believe do you want to drink coffee now yes i don't have tea yet uh, i don't know how to use this but okay our stuff is here though our thermos yes a scraper tool that you push in front of you has maximum low capacity okay Okay, so as I'm drinking coffee, it's actually taken away from the portions and my temperature has gone up to 98 degrees, which is the max temperature uh, Fahrenheit, obviously. And then over here in our inventory, we have our ramen. So I'm going to go ahead and eat that. Calorie is max calorie is at 5,000. And our thermos, we can just drink as we have it. Cool. So that is something good to know. And then now our main objective is to clear the walkway right here. So I want to get out the scraper. So it has a... Ooh. Ooh, I like the scraper. That is... I don't know why that's just so satisfying. And then I believe you can just scrape it like that. Then let's get the shovel out and it puts all that snow into one area. I'm thinking that's what the purpose of that is. Let's use the scraper again. No, that's actually working for the uh, thing. It's going to take any use to trying to learn how to use these uh, items and stuff like that. I never actually used a scraper like this before. I'm, I just always ever used a regular shovel. Oh, yeah. Let's just scrape it all the towards the end like that. There we go. Oh, and then I can move around. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's a lot of snow. But that is so cool. So I didn't I can move. Look at this. I can move around. That's not efficient, though. That is definitely not efficient to be moving around. Whoa, big snow block. I love it. So max weight is to like 20. Good to know. Okay, now that the pathway to the garage is almost done, 93%. I was actually going to see because once it hits 90, it actually lights up in green in the top right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click enter and see if we can finish it. We can do that instead of going to the mailbox, by the way. And you can hand over the job. Sure. Why not? See, I didn't get five stars for that because I handed it over with 10% to go. And it tells you how long you've done it. The type of snow is packing snow, which packing snow is great for making a snowman. Uh, 23 feet of snow removed. Damn. And how much weight of snow? That's kind of cool. I like, the, I like little details like that. But you can start your adventure. Talk with your neighbors. Okay. Also, while doing that, I found a key in the snow that for the back room. What's in the back room? Artifacts found during the game will appear on the board. Okay. Remember that all artifacts are important to solve a mystery. Ooh, so it's going to have a backstory. That is great. We have a wardrobe in our back room as well. Cool, cool. Oh, keys for our pickup. Nice. A little radio. My story. Mysterious history of the surroundings. We get all artifacts on the board. Okay, cool, cool. Pizza box. 
little stuff right here. Numbers and stuff. Is that Bigfoot? Okay, so this is a Yeti table. Oh, so this is gonna have a backstory. That is fantastic. But now how do we get jobs? We go to our computer. No, this is just a store. I would love to get one of those plows. Oh, and we can buy new clothing now. Ooh, should we buy new clothing? I think we should. Let's get a light jacket, I think. Yeah. It tells you how much it's waterproof. This one's waterproof and it's convenient. Uh, I might do the $500 one though. It has a little bit of everything. Eight pockets, so that's probably how much we can carry with us. Uh, let's buy $500. And we're good on energy right now. No, we need some energy. We can buy a chicken bucket. Let's do it. Uh, we'll buy two chicken buckets. Why not? There we go. All right. Uh, let's see. Next, we'll put this on. There we go. So we got that on. And then our chicken bucket should be in our inventory. Hell yeah. There we go. Calories are looking good again. I think we gotta go talk to neighbors by going, just walk out into the neighborhood. Oh yeah, we have one right there. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Let's do it. Here we go. I had to open up the gates. Uh, there is a lot of camera controls or truck controls, as you can see in the bottom left. But we got to go see Mr. and Mrs. Smith and it's they're just around the corner. So it's not too bad. I already crashed my truck, but we know that happens in pretty much any game I play. Uh, K to turn on the emergency lights. Oh yeah. Got to do that because the roads are so messy. Ooh, this truck feels so janky driving into the snow, but you got to be careful when driving the snow, even if you have a truck. Uh, I think uh, they're over here. Yeah, this cow's on the left. And you want to leave your emergency lights on just so people see your truck. Did we leave tracks in the snow? Uh, get out of the vehicle. Ooh, had a little drop right there. Oh, well, yeah, we did leave some tracks. Cool, cool. Hi, guys. So, what do you want done here? Just your walkway, your driveway, your pathing. You can drive the tractor to clear snow. I don't have a tractor, but that's, that is good to know. Oh, cool, cool. Oh, wow, you want all this done? Damn. All I got is a shovel. Okay, let's do it. Oh, the tractor. They have a tractor for me. Whoa. I like how you can do first person or other side. Roadside assistance? No, I think that's if you get stuck. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, R to lift or lower. So it's lowered. Oh, this is so awesome. I love having equipment to make my job easier. Oh. Okay, let's do it. Should I, how do I leave it lower though? Ooh, I hope I don't hit anything or break anything. I don't think I can. It's weird. It feels like there's like an invisible wall, so you can't do that. I, I hope that changes in the future. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want an invisible wall right there. I want to. I want destruction. I know that was a big thing on Lawnmower Simulator, just running over flowers and stuff. So maybe it's a good idea. If there's an invisible wall. Wow, this makes things so much easier. I thought I was going to do all this by hand. There's no way to leave it down though. I have to hold R unfortunately. That's fine. Check this out. This is awesome. Love it.
okay so that is where i'm gonna be finishing this job we're at 98.2 percent i have these little pieces right here and there what i one note to the developer if i couldn't leave like a little suggestion turn off collision on stuff like this i know house flipper does that for when you're mowing the lawn but like for rocks and stuff it just makes it like really difficult when you're constantly hitting like an invisible wall because of that especially with this or even like the shovel or the scraper or especially the scraper because like the scraper you can only go up like right there and then you hit an invisible invisible wall because of that rock i know it makes sense but maybe for an accessibility feature in the future you know just something they could probably add and then we'll go to the snail but nice handy mailbox right over here uh oh i didn't see what that said oh okay so on roads and areas with no order you can still use a basic shovel and basic plows but you won't earn anything from it and no one will judge you for your work it'd be cool if they added where you're like you can gain reputation from just clearing the roads when you aren't ordered to but let's go ahead and put this away uh there we go and we're gonna go ahead and finish this uh shovel. Well, yeah, i gotta go in here and do it there we go now we just press enter yep that took me about 16 minutes to do what i did mr and mrs smith 105 feet of snow removed and 2,000 pounds damn five star 150 hours thank you think about scrapers and wheels they'll work go faster mr smith recommend you go to their friend they recommended me to someone cool cool thank you guys and we got new tools inside the store whoa <laughs> oh no oh no you can do it truck you can do it okay uh yeah that's why you don't drive crazy in snow pro tip Ooh, another idea would be if they could add like a tablet so you don't have to keep going back to buy stuff that would be really nice i like tablets and simulators they make things so much easier on the go let's go over here we're gonna need some thermos at least a thermos that's something i was worried about was the temperature and the calories the calorie is not too bad, but the thermos, at least that lasts for a while and you get so many uses out of it. So you don't got to worry about temperature all the time. It's not as tedious as I thought it would be. What do we have here? Scraper on wheels. So it's basically the scraper button on wheels. Okay. Why not? Sure. And I deliver it to my cour courier by courier right over here. I always got to wait for it could definitely clear the snow around here but it'd be kind of cool to see the snow build up over time too whenever you have like a snowstorm or something just uh waiting for our package though and it is here cool thank you it has a much larger load capacity nice love it and where is our next customer located at oh there's next door cool oh that is a cool little detail if you look in the truck on the right hand side middle of the screen bottom i don't know how i'm speaking right now there is a little gps that is so cool that's a cool little detail and then i'd even notice you do have a rear view mirror cool. small details like that i love it when developers put small details like that into play it's cool all right i think i am here for your job uh, let's see clear snow from property pay special attention to snow behind the house gotcha hi right, guys clearing the snow from property behind the house okay and find more information on the balance oh look at there's an interior i didn't even notice that Ooh, cool such a simple thing oh they got the same tv in both rooms okay what do you want done here Ooh, just the walkway right here okay Let's go around back to the house. Ooh, so much. And you don't have a, you don't have a big tool for me to use, do you? No, you don't. Oh, guys, you're killing me here. Nice car. Okay, I'll get to work right away. Let's try out this uh, scraper thing. Ooh. So I feel like with the scraper. You want to go ahead and just pile it up like this and then just get it all in one one scoop with the shovel. This might actually this might actually help us here. And they can't get that. Oh, you can actually keep scraping that cool cool. But like when you pile it up like that, just get the shovel out, then you can just get it all in once or kind of one scoop. Maybe. Or not because it's too heavy. I cannot swim. Okay. I didn't ask you to swim. That was kind of weird, but okay. Whoa. Okay. There's a collision there. That's, that's, uh, that's fine. 
something that you, like I said always yeah, make sure you let your developers know when there's something they need to fix or take a look at got it up to a 96 percent and for me that's a job well done especially since it's just the prologue so let's go ahead and just go to the mailbox see how much we get paid we're only getting paid 200 dollars for that and that took 31 minutes we are underpaid shoveling this snow only a four star oh well good work and by the way did you check exactly what those uh strange traces behind the house were uh no i did not okay then that was a lot of that was a lot of snow strange traces behind the house so oh, i thought that was the owl house that's just a shed okay strange traces i don't see any strange traces you gotta look that's cool who I can have some oh that's why that popped up earlier okay i mean this place is looking pretty good strange traces i don't see any strange traces though it's kind of cool that it's gonna have a backstory almost like how power wall simulator has kind of like lore behind um, the city and stuff so that's gonna be cool i don't see any strange traces okay oh our body temperature is low there we go actually at the bottom of the screen is a compass sorry about that little cut there it shows a question mark so that's where you get objectives it shows where your garage is so oh ooh, oh so that's why this fence is broken gotcha what's going on over here i thought i saw something shiny over here wait a second don't wanna don't wanna mess this up out wait Ooh, it's a moon. Artifact. It'll be useful someday. You still need to search for one more to find to complete the order. The prologue. Oh. Okay. We're going to find this artifact real quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to. Oh, I thought I saw. I think I see another map right there. I was going to go ahead and look behind here. See if we can find the artifact over here. And. I've been playing this for over an hour and a half. I probably messed up. I think that plow from that first house, I believe you can just open the gate and take it to the next house. So I kind of did everything the long way. So you might not want to follow everything I do all the time. Yep, we cannot swim. No, that's that first house. So the Yeti would have came over here. There's the tracks right there. Maybe it's right here. I think. No, I really want to find this artifact. I do not see it anywhere. Kind of just wandering aimlessly. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, are those my own tracks? Those might be my own tracks. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. No, oh, these, these can't be my tracks. I'm following my own tracks in a circle. What am I doing? Oh, no. Okay, another cut. So it turns out there was actually another job that I had to do and they have more information for me about the Yeti, I believe. So we're gonna just go on and finish this at 90%. And I did take this tractor from the first house. Makes things so much easier, but I was gonna finish this job. Uh, yep, it took me only eight minutes because of me having that tractor. And 4,000 pounds of snow, they only gave me three stars. Uh, sensational work, don't forget to talk to the owner and check what he's talking about. Satisfy is you recommend to your friends, okay. Whoa. Hi. Great job. Bass and solid. I recommend you to several friends. And by the way, please tell me whether you had any problems while working, especially in the part of the lot close to the stream. Uh, everything was okay. I'm going back to work. So that's cool. NPC is nice. Nice. Now close to part of the lot close to the stream. So we have some lore over here. Let's see. Okay, so I went back to him and said something wasn't quite right. And he says, I'm a doctor. I keep my feet firmly on the ground, but among the locals, there's a legend about the ghost of a drowned girl who haunts the stream. Can you tell me more? There's an old swing by the stream from which a young girl supposedly fell in the stream and her spirit has been haunting the area ever since. Uh, have you seen something? 
Well, I haven't seen him, but I heard, often heard strange noises. I prefer not to go there, especially after sunset. Okay, I'm going back to work. Ooh, so come back after sunset. Ooh. More story unfolding here. So let's get off our plow. Oh, I hope it would be cool if there was like in the main game, there's like big contracts where the city actually pays you to do certain amounts of the roads for big money. Because I would love to plow up the street. There's actually a question mark here. Talking about, but he also says something about dusk. Okay, so I gotta come back at night. Got it. Okay, so it's night. I think it's time to head back. back. Okay, yep. Oh, hell no! What the hell? I didn't see what the top said. Oh, that's it. Damn. You've already completed all the tasks available in the prologue. Now you can explore the world to your heart's content to see its vastest and number of tasks that will await for you in Snow Plowing Simulator. If you have any observations, remarks, don't forget to fill out the survey. Yep, always do that. Always let them know what they can fix or what they can improve on. And yeah, thanks for playing. Cool. Oh, he just once had a cave. There's nothing here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. The yet is gonna eat me. Oh no. I'm stuck. No. Oh, you can push J to go back to the next road. Cool. Gotcha. And there we go. I believe that is it. Here we got some pictures of the Yeti. And it's kind of funny that you're a plowing simulator and you're like running this plow company, but you want to believe. And I think we believe because we saw it unless it was just some vague, hairy man. But yeah, if I had to leave a note to a developer, maybe work on the collision a little bit or make things not as collidable with invisible walls when you're working the plows and stuff. But yeah, can't wait for the game. Uh, check it out for yourself down in the description below or check it out on Steam. I snow plowing simulator just search it up the prologue and it comes out on sometime in 2024 hopefully soon while winter is still here but who knows anyways hope you guys enjoyed and until next time remember to change that world once a smile at a time you never know whose life you can save or change and as always i would see you in the next live stream and or video love you guys again thank you for watching as always i appreciate you guys more than anything in the world especially if you made it this far into the video up over here, we got your most recommended video just for you. Down over here, make sure you subscribe and come back for more. As always, I can't wait to see you in the next video, and I look forward to reading your comments. Love you guys.